How nice of you to have me here. Yes. How nice of you to let me come. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Come I've been very afraid of this for a long time, but it is very nice to have you here. Now, why on earth would I intimidate Because you're too Diane damn Carroll? smart. Should anyone not realize? That's, that's why. You're very smart, and you're very, um, you're very articulate, but you're also uh, very, uh, you, you uh, probe well, you know, and I'm... Oh, you, I'm you feel vulnerable to, you think I might yeah. go too far? Yeah, a little bit. You mm. might, but that's all right. That's... Well, Hanging on the edge of a cliff is what I expected when I finally sat opposite you. Oh You're no. quite charming and lovely off, but you can uh, be very dangerous on. You don't like me. I can see that. Well, anyway, I'm going to carry on because... that premise. <laughs> I know that... <laughs> <laughs> there may be people out there watching. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to sorry. be very careful. Uh, but I know that you are not an entirely frivolous person, so I'll, I'll start out on a kind of philosophical All level right. of what you expect from me. Um, your career's been going extremely well. Yes, it has. How's your love life, though? Are you getting any? Or, I mean... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, actually, you were so late today, darling. Does that, does, did that help? No, I mean, did that break the ice? <laughs> no, uh, we should tell the people about that, because here we are in your living room. Yes. And I sat here... What did I sit here, an hour and a half, waiting? Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, you? but I was, as I say, I was paying the rent. Mm -hmm. And those were things, I was working. You were shooting. Yes, that is a little more Hollywood, isn't it? I was shooting. I was on the set. Yeah. I've been shooting all day. Doesn't that sound Sounds great? like a British country house Sounds where wonderful. someone comes in with a rifle, I mean, a shotgun over his shoulder. I've <laughs> been shooting all day. I thought, what uh, in the world, when I arrive at home, what could Dick possibly want to know? from me or about me that he first of all mm. as the life is not that dimensional i don't think i think the career has been very interesting but yeah but personally you're kind of drab and i think it's been pretty ordinary even and without interest i didn't mm. say that i said i thought it had been fairly ordinary oh okay well we're out of time but <laughs> um I do want to thank you for letting us come in here. Have I'm you been sure on those early morning so shows where that's about how much time you get <laughs> yes. and you got all dressed up? You got up at five in the morning. Yeah. You arrived and they really say just that. And we're so excited that you're on Dynasty. Thank you for coming up. And here's our next commercial. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't help noticing these, these beverages here. Now, is that in an attempt to... Um, it's in an attempt to... Loosen me up and yeah. then you're going to turn I the tables on I want the upper on. hand is what it is. So... Uh, because I have never consumed anything of this sort while um, doing an interview. Could, could I reach yours for you? Would Be you please? Why have you not? Is it illegal or...? Well, my grandmother once said that lips that have touched liquor would never touch hers. And this isn't and liquor, I know. And you had this know, burning desire to touch your grandmother's lips? Ah, so that's how it's to be, is it? <laughs> I it, couldn't... Not only does she say something like that, but blocks me a camera with her hair at the same time. <laughs> You've heard about this me. This woman is not to be trusted. <laughs> What did I come here to talk about? Now, isn't that interesting? One sip of that, and I am almost... Mm, that's good. Can I put yours back for you Thank so you your cough much. doesn't disrupt the proceedings? Uh, Joan Rivers wrote my questions out for me. You've been married three times. Do you yes. want to tell us why that is, and will you ever be married again? And uh, how can you say you won't? You said you won't, but can you be sure? You know, I find it fascinating that always when women are on shows, the first point of view is about their personal relationships. You've been married three times. Yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. No, 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 I know. But you would drop your pants. <laughs> Who told you that? I heard about it recently. Uh, I only do that, A, if the price is right. Yeah. B, if there's some comic effect that can be gotten from it. <laughs> and I did, all right, now that it's out in the open, so to speak, I did drop them on The Tonight Show in a jokey way with Johnny. And I think I, I told you earlier... Um, a year later, someone said, I'll never forget that night when Johnny dropped his pants in front of you. So, <laughs> because no it doesn't what you try fit do, your image at I know. all. No, and yet I have but, nice pants. And you have nice legs, too, by the way. I yeah. saw that. Well, you're no dog, you know. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, marriage in my profession, in our profession, mm -hmm. you've been married once? Currently. Mm. Once. That's mm. wonderful. 
And it's, it's enviable, really. I'm not so sure, though. You know, I mean, why does it always get a hand when people say, they, we've been married for 40 years. Oh, I think. How do we know he doesn't beat her? They're not miserable <laughs> together. But by God, they've stuck together. Yeah, yeah. That's why they get the hand. So Just staying about. there. You deserve a hand for staying in one place oh, of 40 I, some odd years. Well, they're applauding the endurance and that's the pain. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I okay. mean, that is to be admired. Well, what's wrong with American marriage? I hadn't meant to get into this with you, but you're probably in a position to know. Did you buy the romantic myth of Mr. Wright? Of course. Uh, oh, yes. From the movies? Yes, of course, from the yeah. movies. I was brought up in the uh, late 40s. Some day your prince would come. Sure. And, and he was going to buy a lovely house with a white picket fence, and uh, we were going to have a wonderful farm. And uh, on the side, when it didn't interfere, I was yeah. going to be a part of something called show business. Yeah. And the fallacy was what? That you could well, do it on the side. Eh? Of course. I mean, yeah. that's ridiculous. One, this is a very serious marriage, particularly for women. Um, I think we're growing in that area. I think finally we're, we've reached a point that we do understand that there, that difference between us is not so major. There are women who have an equal desire mm -hmm. to succeed at one career or another that makes them uh, really not wonderful partners, particularly if the male is uh, old-fashioned. Yeah. And he wants a lady at home who will do those lovely little old-fashioned things that are very nice. It's just, it's just yeah. a matter of what makes you comfortable, and I'm comfortable with what I do. Did you realize after the second or third time that it take that many times to get that myth out of the way? Or I think it did. You know, no, it's I a very recall. difficult myth to kill. Yeah. It's a very painful place to, uh, to finally reach and to understand that I, first of all, that I didn't have to be ashamed of it mm -hmm. and uh, that I didn't have to apologize for it. There are times when today uh, I have long discussions uh, with my daughter who is a little peeved because I was not at home more often. Mm. I was there <clears throat> very often, and I, I really did plan uh, my nightclub tour with her school vacations in mind. Yeah. And much of the planning, even though I feel terribly good and wonderful about it, she's not impressed at all. Because mm -hmm. most mummies were at home. And uh, not constantly dragging the luggage mm -hmm. behind them with 83 limousines going to the airport. Is she writing a book, do you suppose? Um, I am clearing my conscience at this moment <laughs> because she is in the School of Journalism at Columbia. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just yeah. in case. So why, is that why I saw that note, remember the will, <laughs> uh, uh, in her room? <laughs> but that's got to be a terrific problem. But um, uh, many, a lot of people in the business remember... Miss Hepburn on the show of mine saying, you can't have it all. Yes, you know? she did. And yet people have managed pretty well, if some, I guess. I suppose they'd agree. Joanne Woodward, maybe. Although once she said, I, if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't marry and have children. Did she really say that? Quite, on, on a show of mine, which probably startled a gentleman named uh, Newman. I would think so. Man, but but uh, Joanne and I are a part of an era, a part yeah. of a time in our culture when women really felt very torn about those decisions. I think her decision really was to become uh, her career, place her career in a secondary position to, to Paul's. Mm -hmm. And I think perhaps, um, if I'm really honest about it, one of my marriages might have worked had I had that attitude. Yeah. But I don't, I don't have that attitude, and I really want to say that. I mean, that is not to my attitude. That's not my need. You, now you know that. Yes. Can you excuse them for a moment? They have to watch a message, and probably an interesting one, and then we'll be right back. We'll come, we'll come right we'll back. We'll come back.